What's up my babies, welcome back to another video. If you would like to see how I install this cute flip over wig and blend my natural hair with it, make sure you keep on watching. See you later babes. Brown baller, take one, action. What's up my babies, welcome back to another video. My name is Kay and this is Crown Baller. Y'all, we gonna hop right into this video. Make sure y'all hit that right subscribe button down below, turn that post notification bell on so you know when I post new videos. So, now we got the introduction out of the way. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be installing this flip over wig and I wanted to do a kind of a detailed version of this. I do have a couple on my channel, but you know, this is for the others and the others of the others, okay? So I was showing you guys my brain braid pattern the most important thing about this braid pattern because I've seen it it was very ghetto <laughs> okay mind your business um the most important thing about this is that you want to make sure that you have an anchor braid that goes all the way around the perimeter of your head yeah you just want to make sure that the wig you know has security all the way around your head so that's what that anchor braid is for so I went ahead and sewed up the braids at the ends that were just out if you want to go ahead and just pin them up that's also an option it really doesn't matter as long as that anchor braid is nice and secured down so i greased my scalp of course before i put this wig on and now i'm just making sure that the flip over part is in the front of my head when i place the wig on now this hair is from ic beauty hair i believe i have a review if i don't a review will be coming for this hair i've had this hair for a year now actually well almost a year and maybe a month but um yeah so I will have a review for this hair now so the most important step like I said for the anchor braid we're literally sewing on the edge of the wig cap to the anchor braid right that's literally all that you have to do is I'm literally putting my needle underneath the braid and underneath the wig cap and I'm pulling it out through the top of the wig cap and then I'm wrapping my thread two times around my needle and that's going to just give me security as far as like if one knot doesn't close there won't be a whole relapse of all the knots coming out if that makes sense like some people just you know loop 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 and that's fine and easy but for me I like to have security just in case I miss one loop or the loop don't work how it's supposed to loop the loop so I knot each one of my um every time I pass the thread through I knot it and that just gives me, you know, like I said, extra security. And that's what I do throughout my, all of my sew-ins. But here I'm just showing you guys how, you know, you can't see the braid on one side because I sewed it down and you see the braid on the other side. So I pull the wig up. Mind you guys, this is the flip over part. So you want to make sure that you're not like lifting the tracks up or, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, it's still nice and flush and flat with the track. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but sometimes it's time. <laughs> okay, I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot. I'm sorry. Anywho, so I'm literally going around um, my perimeter with this needle and thread, ladies and or guys, whoever is listening to this, and I am making sure my wig cap is secure. Now, I did make this wig with, um, it was the quick wig method and of course I have a video up on my channel for you guys to see I went ahead like I play overseas and I can't find a mannequin head and I'm not traveling with a mannequin head everywhere I go so I like to make a quick wig on my head I just put a wig cap on and then glue the tracks on and then later I just sew the tracks on like where they're laying flat on the wig. And that is like my little hack when I don't have a mannequin head to make a wig with needle and thread, you know what I mean? So um, if you guys want to see that detailed version of me making a wig without a mannequin head, definitely let me know and I will make a video for you all. But like I said, I'm going around the anchor braid that is all the way around the perimeter of my head and I am sewing and doubling my uh, thread up to make the needle knot 
to make the thread knot and um yeah that's pretty much it is very self-explanatory if you don't know how to sew this probably isn't the best method for you or you might want to get some help but if you don't know how to sew i also um sometimes when i don't sew my wigs on i just use bobby pins if i'm just using you know the wig for a couple days and i'm not like working out and playing in my wig bobby pins work just the same but if you're being active, I would definitely suggest you go ahead and sew little baby down for that security. But she's done. She's all the way finished. Um, she ain't going nowhere. She is snug, honey. And I got what I need. So now I'm just going to show you guys how I define and I was thinking about cutting some bangs. Hold up. Let me just. Uh, no, you're doing too much. <laughs> Um, I thought about the bang cutting, but I got cussed out on my last sew in and blending my hair into my weave video. So I'm going to give y'all the most detailed version, okay, of me going ahead and defining and blending my hair. I don't have 4C hair. I would say I'm in between 4B and 4C. I'm not as, as tight of a curl, but... I got a pretty tighter curl, okay? Nice little tight coil. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and wet my hair all the way down. I'm using some of that black pimento castor oil and some of my favorite um, leave-in conditioner, whatever is your leave-in conditioner is, that's what you do. I'm using the Quench by Aunt Jackie's. And then I'm taking our favorite Eco Style and we're gonna it's gonna be a big part the eco style is gonna play a big part in blending my hair so i literally just make a twist with the weave i take a very small piece of weave and i take a small piece of hair of my natural hair and i literally twist it and i try to take out as much weave as possible and keep on twisting add some gel and literally keep on twisting like it's that simple but it's all about you know your products like and how your hair you know is gonna react to the hair i should say like you want to make sure that your hair is blending good i tried to use the flexi rods and perm rods but it just didn't give me the same natural look that this method does um so if you have your favorite method please feel free to you know use your method but this is what works best for me and like i said i have like four 4b hair so i don't really know the four types of hair i just know i got type 4 hair okay i just know my hair type is coil but um yeah so i just am using some gel and i'm just twisting the weave in with my natural hair and once i get to the end of my natural hair i just go ahead and like coil the weave around my finger and kind of make it as one you know flush but i did i will say as i kept going with this method i realized that the bigger chunk of natural hair i take the smaller chunk of weave that i need to take instead of taking the same amount of like weave to natural hair ratio i went ahead and stopped taking such big chunks of the weave and i took a smaller chunk and then took a bigger chunk of my natural hair if i hope that makes sense because once i realized that baby i was golden like you see how the weave that i have is much much less than the natural hair that i have that's what is the key and like the first couple twists that i do like on the twist i make them i try to make them very tight so that it will be as flat as possible it's kind of like a retwist like when you're trying to retwist some locks like you want to make sure that the the top of it is kind of tight like and that's why i'm like twisting it and then trying to pull it tight to um and put it into that clip because i want it to be nice and tight right and of course i'm trying to pull out some edges because we're gonna get them things together but here is the finished look like she yes you can see the twists but after a while when it's dry you can untwist them and baby is gonna blend how she needs to blend and that's that on that like legit and then i'm gonna go in with my edges well i'm gonna go in with this got to be glued it's literally the only edge control that i can use the only gel that works for my edges semi colon because it's starting not to work honey it's starting not to work so if you have any edge control suggestions anything to lay these edges please help send help send help we need help but um i'm just laying 
my edges down and that's pretty much you know all that I'm gonna do to finish this now after I lay my edges down I'm gonna go ahead and um, grease the braids or twists or whatever that I have um, it's really important to make sure that you're taking care of your leave out I have this sewn on so I plan to have it on for at least a few weeks if not just a couple but um, the most important part like obviously this is a protective style but the most important part is to make sure that we're taking care of the hair that we're leaving out so um, every night I go ahead and use the castor oil to you know oil my edges make sure that we are having edges all 22 okay 20 22 we want those edges okay we want to make sure they they bring into the next year so <laughs> a obviously i was feeling myself i was watching a media play so just ignore me <laughs> but um i tied down my edges and i'm just putting a little rubber band around my hair and i'm about to prepare to go to sleep so i'm putting my bonnet on i actually don't use this method at all to go to sleep but this was just for the filming purposes but here we are the next day and i just wanted to show you guys how it was looking as you guys can see you can barely tell but you can see that it is like super duper flat so when i I'm doing is taking my comb and all I'm gonna do is literally like puff up my hair and that's just gonna disguise it a lot more that it's all mine baby this is all me this is nobody else's but mine period dot and that is all she wrote but I hope that you all enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up comment down below and let me know how you feeling about her and if you tried this before but I love you guys so freaking much I can't wait to see you in the next one now give me a kiss Mwah.